Four years ago when Obama was coronated supreme ruler, before the public was told about it, he and Hillary went in there and she stepped down uh, there at that meeting and they thought that Obama could sell fraud and fake hope and change better than her. We covered it. The national media refused to come. While it was the top story, no one knew where Hillary and Obama had gone for the day, an entire day. Well, I was there covering it. So another illustration of how the mainstream media won't do their job, just like they wouldn't do their job in Bohemian Grove. So I had to infiltrate it. Tried to infiltrate a year and a half ago as well, barely escaped, and the uh, History Channel camera crew got uh, arrested. But that's another issue. So we're taking action with solutions, exposing these people. And a big solution is to have Occupy Bilderberg that I called for it a few weeks ago. It's been picked up by a lot of other groups and media, <clears throat> major steam building. I'm going to be there the 31st of this month through the 3rd, May 31st to June 3rd, while they're meeting at, in Chantilly, Virginia, at the Westfields Marriott. Now, a little bird told me the name of one of the main bookings for the conference. They, 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 they do it under... Gnome de plumes, or or, or 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 under a pseudonym, under another another name, and so we're going to call them right now. Let's call the front desk there, here on air, and I'm going to tell them I'd like to come interview someone at the conference. <clears throat> we'll see how this goes here. Hey, how you doing? This is uh, Alex Jones here, and I would like uh, to be able to uh, know uh, what I need to do there on the 1st of next month to uh, visit with the people at the Palm Tree Conference. I'm sorry? The Palm Tree Conference. Uh, you do have that book there. I mean, I have the right hotel, or is it the other Marriott? Uh, we do have a, a Palm Court restaurant. Now I'm talking about the Palm Tree Conference. You don't you don't have a block of rooms uh, booked in on, on the, what the 31st to the third? Not that I'm aware. Of. I have not heard of that. I know we have the, the Palm Tree Restaurant. I'm sorry, the Palm Court Restaurant. Yes, but can you can you uh, check? I mean, to make sure that I've got the right hotel, Palm Tree Conference. That's yes, I mean I mean that, that's what the hotel's booked for, right? Just check because the whole I mean the whole uh, hotel that I'm going to go to is uh, booked out for those three days. Um, you should have been sent an invitation with the address for the conference. Yeah, no, I was sent the invitation. It's got the the, the uh, B on it. You talking about that invitation? I, I, I don't work for the conference that you're attending, so I don't know what they send out. Normally when we have conferences, they... Okay, I just want to make sure I have the right conference. What conference do you have booked there the 31st through the 3rd? Of which month? Uh, the 31st of this month, May to June 3rd. May 31st to June 3rd. Just a moment. I just meetings, but looking at our system, we have the SRA conference. The SRA conference? Correct. No, that's not it. That's all you have is the SRA conference. Uh, and then we have three weddings. Uh, during those three days? Uh, I don't know how long they're here for. Okay, well, well then I must have the wrong one. I, I've got to probably call you back, ma'am. Uh, let me just ask you this. Mm -hmm. Is the hotel, because the one I'm going to, they told me that they uh, booked the whole thing, the 31st of this month to the 3rd of next month, uh, are you booked up then? Uh, we do have rooms to sell during some of those days. Say that again? We do have rooms for sale over some of those dates. But I called there. I called there last week, and they said that that that, that it was completely booked on those days, the thirty first through the third. We could have had some cancellations. No, man. They were telling me the entire. Uh, okay, uh, I want to book one for uh, June first there at the Westfields Marriott. Okay, let me transfer you to reservations, and they can assist you with that. Just a moment. Okay. By the way, folks, we've called five times, and they won't let us book during that day. They'll let us book the day before. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling the Marriott Westfields, Washington, Dulles. My name is Chris. How can I help you? Hey, yes. Uh, I'd like to book a room there uh, June 1st, please. Thank you. Just for the one night, sir? Yes, ma'am. And are you coming in for an event or just coming in to visit? What, the SRA conference or the Palm Tree conference? One moment. Oh, 
Oh, boy. I tell you. Hey, Marge, can you bring me a cup of coffee? Thanks. I'm Ralph Cramden. Sounds like him. I do sound like him? <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing today, ma'am? Just a minute. How's the weather in your area? Yeah, it's getting there. Good. I just want to check your... Um, one moment, please. Thank you. That's Have you registered for this Plum Tree Conference, sir? Or Oh, it's Plum Tree, or is it Palm Tree? Palm Tree. Palm Tree. Oh, you do find a palm tree conference there? Yeah, there is, but it's rooming list only, which leads me to believe there's some sort of pre-registration, and then they have your name, and then they make the reservation for you. Oh, yes, but, yes, David Rockefeller. No, but you, just a minute. Hey, can you check and see if my name's there? <laughs> I will. Uh, La, da, da, da. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, turn that music off. I enjoy it too much. <laughs> I, I'm over here at the office. I shouldn't be doing this on my lunch break. But, you know, you got to book these vacations sometimes. I heard they got a good golf course nearby. Uh, they do. They do. Uh, first of June. One moment. I don't have your name yet. The the block of rooms does not close until is not does not shut down until the eleventh, which is two days from now, and that's when the name should be coming in. Okay, yeah. okay, uh, okay. Can I separately book a room there, or is it? No, you could do that. Oh, okay, so the hotel is not booked up for those days. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, it is. Or I just checked that. Oh. Yeah. Now there are six Marriotts in the area. The closest one with availability. Is the Fairfax Fair Oak six miles east or the Washington Dulles? Hold, hold on, ma'am. I've actually got. I'm booking it for him, but I've got David Rockefeller here right with me. Can I just put him on the phone with you so he can do it? Yeah. Hold on one second. Hey, Dave, come on over here. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Sir, please don't call me sir. I'm your assistant. Very well. I. Hello there, young lady. How are you taking all your vaccines like you're supposed to? Yes, sir. Good. Yeah. What do you think of global government, huh? Have you heard of my family? Do you want to book at another hotel, Mr. Rockefeller? Well, dear, yeah, I'll be there. Don't worry. That rascally rabbit, Alex okay. Jones, will probably be bullharning me. Okay. Disconnecting. <sighs> All right. Good evening, my dear. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, that little tip, that little bird about the palm tree conference, you know, they death threaded my wife last time uh, I went and bullhorned them. They are certainly not going to be happy about this. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. I don't even know if I can continue now. This is total Twilight Zone. All right. That's definitely where they're having it. Uh, we've made like four or five of these calls on air. That poor lady. I was just doing a David Rockefeller thing. I was about to ask her, are you going to be there when I'm there? What? But I wasn't going to do it. I was going to be really bad. I was going to be really bad. Oh, I forget I'm on radio sometimes. I really do. I'm more eloquent when I'm not on the radio. That's actually not true. Sometimes when I'm directing shoots out there, I hear myself talking in the background on the tapes later. It sounds like some... Cross between an Appalachian hillbilly and an East Texan, which I guess I kind of am in a way. By the way, I wasn't bashing Appalachian hillbillies last night on the news when I was comparing the Taliban to souped-up hillbillies. I was explaining that it's hard for the globalists to take over groups like that. That's all I was saying. You know, just talking about hillbillies is not insulting them. I have a real live hillbilly working out there in the control room right now, don't I? It does a great job. The truth is the hillbillies have the advanced, supercharged brain cells. I myself am a super supreme, purebred hillbilly. Anyways, continuing here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that was funny. Am I wrong or was that funny just now? Doing the David Rockefeller entertainment. I should have done it a lot better, though. Like, oh, well, I guess I'll need some help there. Uh -huh. All right, that's enough.
That's enough. I'm like the hell 9,000. Just a moment. Just a moment.